What's up? How's it going? This is Apple Investigator here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a video about the brand new version of iTunes that Apple just came out with, iTunes 11. So as you guys can probably see here, there is a brand new logo for the multimedia player this year. We'll go ahead and launch the application. And as we get into the songs view here, um, we can see the list of songs and their artist title. Basically the same as before, no new changes on that front. But if we head over to the album pane, we c this is a brand new view that we can see. And and um, when you click on an album, the cool thing is that you can see songs that are on that album and they have a nice cover art on the right hand side. So let's go to something like Skyfall here. And I can see that this is a song by Adele. It's for the Skyfall James Bond movie. And then if I click in the store, it will even display me songs that are related to this one. So other songs by Adele, popular songs, uh, recommended songs, um, and, it, and I can purchase those right within this user interface. It's a very cool new feature of iTunes 11. If we head over to the artist tab here, we can see the artists uh, on the left hand side, and then we can see uh, there's, there are songs on that album here on the main screen which is very cool. It's a nice new way to navigate through your music library. If we head over to the genres uh, tab here, we can see exactly the same thing, the different genres, and then the artists that fall under that genre with their albums. Play a song there, stop that. And that's a very cool feature as well. Videos, it's just your music videos. Now, a cool thing that Apple's done with iTunes 11 is the search library feature. So if we search for something like uh, James Blunt, you can see the artist came up, album, songs. It's very fast. Search for it all again. And we can see artists, and then it will take us right there to the artist page for Adele. So that's cool. A new feature in iTunes 11 that we've never seen before is called Up Next. And what that is, is a list of songs that are going to be playing next up in your library. So it's very easy to just add songs to up next. You just drag it to this player here, and it adds that song to the list of up next songs for you. So as you guys saw there, it added it, and those are the songs that are in the queue. I can see the history of songs that I've played in the last, last uh, recent times, and I can refer back to those. I can click the arrow, add them to a playlist, and you can do multiple different things. Okay, let's just click on this little icon here and what this does is it brings you to your desktop and if you want to be managing through your music but not within the iTunes application this is a great option. So if you select this what do you get? You get your up next menu. So you can see the up next songs right on your desktop. I think this is a great feature. To go back you just select this little screen here and you're back within the iTunes library. Now, one of the really cool things that I love about this version of iTunes is the Devices Manager tab here. If you select this, I can see which devices I currently have that are synced up to this library. So let's click on my iPad Mini here, and you guys can see different tabs, Summary, Info, Apps, just like we could on the last version. But on the bottom here, we've got the, um, the bars that show which content is currently on this device, and it's in a nice, cleaner fashion than the previous version. And I really like that. I mean, it's easier. It's easy to get content onto your device as well. The last thing that I'm going to show you guys in this version of iTunes is the new iTunes Store. It has gotten a bit of a refreshed look. Um, you guys can see here the top content is on through. You can navigate through, and then as you scroll down, you can see top songs in a list here. You can scroll through top top music, top movies. And it's a nice way to navigate through the iTunes store. Click on iPad mini here and it will bring you right to the Apple site. Look at that. So Apple has done a great job with the update of iTunes. In my opinion, it is a very, very nice version and it's very stable. I'm not sure how it's been working on PC. I know there was problems with iTunes on PCs before, but on Mac, I can tell you guys that it is working very well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.